Hello everybody, my name is Rachel, and today I'm going to do the NSFW tag. Hold up! If you are watching this video to be titillated, I have the most boring answers of all time, which is why I was tagged to do this. Nicole from Wolf's Whistle tagged me. She did this tag just so she could tag me because it came up in, in comments somewhere that I actually thought this tag was pretty interesting. I do. I think it's a really fascinating tag. But I, I wanted to do it, but I didn't do it because I don't have interesting answers. And she just took this as a dare, practically, <laughs> to tag me to do it. And I'm finally doing it. Oh, I should tell you, this was originally created by Chapter Stacks and Luke Lane Reads. I will link the original videos down below as well as Nicole's video. Question number one is, what is the last book you would want your parents to walk in on you reading? Now, one, I'm an adult. It doesn't really matter anymore. Two, I live on my own and it's just incredibly unlikely that anyone is going to walk in on me reading something I don't want them to see me reading. But also, I've got a really great relationship with my parents and I can talk to them about pretty much anything and I don't think that they would really be shocked if I was reading something. They would only be shocked if I actually like believe something that went really against the grain for me personally. So they would probably not go, oh my god, you're reading that. They would go, oh, you're reading that. Why are you reading that? Let's talk about that. That's the way my parents are. Now, I wouldn't parade, you know, like Yahweh porn in front of my parents. That would be weird. And you're like, well, would you read that? I actually own porn. It, I mean, that's that's exactly what it is. I do own it. I own like six chapters. Anyway, I would not read that in front of my parents. At this point, I would like to say, parents, if you're watching this video, do whatever you want. I cannot police your actions. Uh, also, did I mention the part about how I'm an adult? Yeah, yeah. Question number two is, it's storming outside and you're home alone for the night. What book would only make matters worse? Anything scary. I cannot take horror. I, I can't even take really suspenseful situations sometimes. It just freaks me out. And if it's dark and rainy and I'm alone, that makes it worse. The last time that this happened to me was like six or seven years ago when I had to read The Shining by Stephen King. I had to read it for a class. I was in a pop lit class. And I had to finish the book. It was late at night. And I came downstairs and spent the evening reading on the couch with my parents in the living room because I didn't want to be alone while reading that. When I was a adolescent, I read this YA middle grade book. I want to say it was set in Australia. It involved Aboriginal people. And at one point, a mummified hand shows up in somebody's house. Like it like magically goes from a cave into somebody's house. To this day, when I am alone and it's creepy in the middle of the night, I don't really think, oh, there's something under the bed. I think there's a hand coming to grab my ankles and it's that mummified black hand. Ugh. Question number three is, have you ever read a book simply because of the controversy surrounding it? No. Question number four is, what is the most cringe-inducing romance or sex scene you have ever read? This is really easy. Every single sex scene in Dahlgren is awkward and uncomfortable and it just makes me want to put the book down and like take a shower and it's it's done this way on purpose. It is not erotic. It is it is awkward and uncomfortable on purpose, which means my feelings about it are complicated. I would like to just hate it and not read it ever, but he he does it well, so it's still Question number five is what book has made you question the author's sanity? I have never read a book that was so far out there that I really wondered about the author. I've heard of some books like American Psycho, but I have never read one. Question number six is have you ever put down a book and not finished it because the content was too much for you? Yes, once. Uh, some years ago, I had to read Interview with a Vampire by Anne Rice and I, I liked it. I was interested in more stuff by Anne Rice and I somehow got my hands on a copy, I think I was reading this online, of the first book in her Sleeping Beauty series, 
which was originally written under a pen name. And what I didn't know is that it's actually like a BDSM sex slave retelling of Sleeping Beauty, including basically rape of teenagers and locking naked people up in cages. And, uh, you know, at first I was just like, okay, I stumbled across something I didn't know existed and this is mind altering. And then about chapter three, I think I went, oh my God, no. I will never think of Anne Rice the same way ever again. I have never been tempted to pick up any of her other books. I was just like, nope, <laughs> nope. Question number seven is what fictional character do you have the most NSFW thoughts about? I do not have naughty thoughts about fictional characters. I also don't have them about real flesh and blood people because that's the way I am. Okay, if you're a minor, maybe stop watching this video. Number eight is show us your most NSFW book cover or a drawing or photo inside of a book. And since I mentioned I actually own porn, this would be it. Question number nine, have you ever read something from the erotica or romance genre and what did you think? Now, when I was tagged to do this, I actually went on Overdrive and I downloaded just a completely random um, historical romance novel and I was extremely disappointed. I just want to say it was horribly written and there was only one real sex scene. Come on, 250 pages of just meandering around having contrived awkward s situations with between your your male character and your female character and then when they finally get down to business it's like so freaking anticlimactic like this <sighs> come on and finally question number 10 is you stumble across a port key what fictional world would you not want to be transported into i'm going to cheat and say None of them. That was the NSFW tag, guys. I'm not going to tag anybody specifically, but if you feel like you have answers to these questions that you want to share with the world, you want to talk about some things that you usually don't talk about, live, live on the edge, do this tag, let me know. I really do love watching this tag. It, people have some interesting answers. It's a little different from a usual booktube affair. So yeah, that is it for me today. Thank you for watching once again, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.